Darius Rucker is a musical Deion Sanders or Bo Jackson. He's won Grammys in pop and now country. He still can't wait to come to the Grand Strand every April to reunite with his old band and some old friends. Duck Dynasty's Willie Robertson, just one of the newcomers in this year's Monday After the Masters Celebrity Field. Well, they're, they're taping right now. Willie, to take the day off to come out, Willie Robertson is just amazing. We've become pretty good buddies, and it's great to have him here. You know, it's great to have all the golfers that come, Dustin Johnson, and I hate to name one because there's so many guys that come and support us every year. Dustin Johnson missed the cut at Augusta for the first time in five starts at the Masters. Johnson is ready to move on. He was all smiles playing with his group that included his brother and caddy Austin. I've been playing really well this year. Just, you know, just didn't play very good at Augusta. It was pretty simple. And, you know, it's a golf course where if you're not, you know, on your game, you're not, you're going to struggle. And, you know, and I did. So, um, you know, I got two weeks off now. So after today, I'll go home and, you know, work on the game a little bit. Gamecocks quarterback Connor Shaw was happy to take a break from preparing for the NFL draft and enjoying a few days on the Grand Strand. Shaw played with Bishopville's Tommy Two Gloves Ganey. Tommy's story is very inspiring. Uh, it motivates me uh, greatly. And to be, you know, playing with him today and, and riding around on the golf course with him is uh, special. And like I said, uh, I was talking with him and Darius, and Darius kind of shared me the story for the first time. And it's really inspiring. He's done a great job. One thing's for sure, the celebrity faction of Gamecock Nation is talking up Connor leading into the NFL draft. I do think that he's going to be a great NFL quarterback, and I'm going to say great right now because he has the work ethic, he's got the desire, and when you have the desire and work ethic, let me tell you, a lot of things can happen. I was talking to Mel Kiper about that the other day. He does too. I think Connor's going to go to some team and make some coach really happy. I mean, he's got... All the tangents when people talk about he's, you know, he's not tall enough, but you know he, he's he, he's tall enough to win games, and he's a winner. So I think that's what that's what people are going to get when they get him. They're going to get a winner who can really play the game. I, I've waited four years to meet Darius, and we we exact we said that exact same time. He said the same thing I did, so it's pretty special. And it, you know, especially he's the face of South Carolina. He is Mr. South Carolina and bleeds garnet and black. So it, it's a great opportunity to meet him.